What's up guys, I'm Dan from The New Travel. As most of you know, I'm a Canadian who recently spent a year living in Mexico. Now I'm back in Canada. And I wanted to make a little video talking about how Canadians and Mexicans are different and if there's any ways that we are the same. Don't go anywhere because I got a lot to say about this one. And the first thing I want to talk about is one comment that I got from Mexicans as soon as I moved back to Canada and it is donde esta la gente? For English speakers out there literally means like where are the people? And I think it's a great place to start explaining the first cultural difference between Canada and Mexico. Mexico just has a lot more life on the streets. There are always people working and walking and talking and just doing their lives on the streets. A great example of that is the street food culture that you have. I mean, I experienced it a lot in Mexico City, but honestly, I saw it all over the country. From the north to the south, you have street food vendors. You have people eating their lunches, their dinners, their breakfasts, all like on the streets. But it goes deeper than just the food. It's also about the sort of cities that we've built. Canada is a pretty modern place. Like a lot of our cities have developed over the last hundred years or so which means that we grew up with cars. The people who planned our city built them with cars in mind. The United States is often similar in this way. You have these very wide cities with very far away suburbs. So you don't have the same population density in one area. I quite like when I go to Mexico, I like the fact that you have people and life concentrated together. Sometimes it gets to be too much. <laughs> I was living in the center of Mexico City, which is like the heart of the madness. And sometimes like I'll literally like open the door to our building. And when you walk outside, it's like you ever seen like a school of fish, how they all like that's what the sidewalk is like sometimes like there's all these people walking and it's it's intense. And to be honest, there came a point when the intensity got to be too much for me where I, I started to crave open spaces and crave solitude. Like I wanted to be away from it all. All right, it's getting crowded in here. But enough about the geography and enough about where the people are living. Let's talk about the soul. Let's talk about the insides of what makes people Canadian, what makes them Mexican. And before I get into this, I just want to point out something that should be obvious. It's, it's that Canada is a very multicultural place. So I can only speak in generalizations about what makes someone Canadian. If a family moves from Mexico to Canada and then their kids grow up in Canada, like those are Canadians. But there still are some generalizations you can make about Canadians. And one of them is that we tend to be more closed, at least at first. Uh, people always say like Canadians are friendly and stuff. We are friendly, but it's a different sort of friendly than you have in Mexico. In Mexico, like, I don't know, people are so open, people are so full of energy and friendly and, and my girlfriend explains it like this. If you're lost on the streets in Canada, people will help you, but you usually have to know to ask. Like if you ask someone for help, they will always help you. But in Mexico, like if you're lost, like people will just come up and say like, you need help? Like what's, what's happening? What do you need? You know, like they make the initial contact. Okay, I'm gonna try to fix this video. We're getting way too bright. How's that? Okay. Anyway, I talked about the multiculturalness, multi is that a word? Multiculturalness of Canada and the fact that, yeah, you have people from all different backgrounds, all different ethnicities and religions and stuff like that. <laughs> On the flip side of that, Mexican culture has a depth to it. Like to use a metaphor, like if this is the world, Canadian culture is spread out. We are taking like bits of culture from all different countries and mixing that into some weird new thing called Canada. <laughs> Whereas Mexican culture is more specific. You know, you have the indigenous cultures who lived in Mexico before the Europeans arrived. And then you have the Spanish conquest. And then you have the mixing of indigenous elements with the Spanish elements which have now created this very unique culture known as Mexico. Um, and you have all these stories and traditions and histories and legends and myths. Like there, there's this weird part of Mexico that makes you feel like you will never fully understand Mexico. Uh, 
Whereas I don't feel that way about Canada. I don't know if that's just because I'm Canadian. Like maybe Mexicans will think like, no, we understand Mexico. Um, but I, I actually, I don't think so because the Mexicans I've talked to, they also express that idea that there's like a surreal element to Mexico, like a part of it that can't be easily understood or explained. Uh, and for me, that's very fascinating. It's a big part of the appeal of Mexico. The fact that you will not know everything, the fact that it will continue to surprise you. I mean, just look at the Mexican flag. You guys have this epic image of this eagle eating a snake on top of a cactus that tells the myth of how the Aztecs knew to build Mexico City in that specific place where they saw that scene happening. Canada, we have a leaf. Um, it's a nice leaf, I like our leaf, <laughs> but we don't have this like epic origin story. We're a newer country. The Europeans came over on boats. There were French people, there were English people. Uh, it looked like they might have two different countries for a while, but they worked out their differences and we created this country called Canada um, and we signed some documents. There were no eagles involved, you know, like it was a more straightforward story. Okay guys, I could go on and on about this, but I wanted to give you guys a chance to share some of your own opinions. So just before making this video, I made an Instagram post asking people how they think Canadians and Mexicans are different. I got a few responses here. Noir Cat says culture, lifestyle. Yeah, for sure. I mean, we definitely, we definitely have very different lifestyles. June Vark says driving. <laughs> he said it, not me, but I, I would tend to agree. You guys drive crazy down there. As Ali Fernandez, oh, my friend Ali, uh, she says Canadians are nice, but not as chatty as Mexicans. Yeah, that's what I mean. We are both friendly, but it's like a different kind of friendly. Mr. Kobo says breakfast. You gotta elaborate a little bit, Mr. Kobos. I don't know what you mean about our breakfast. Are you insulting Canadian breakfast? Don't ever say anything about a Canadian's breakfast. <laughs> Just kidding, man, we're cool. Miss Gabby Bo says, Mexicans hug a lot even when meeting someone first time. In Canada, you just nod. Yeah, Canadians, we like to nod. I, polite little nod, yep. Nice to meet you, yep. <laughs> anyway, that was fun. I should do viewer responses more often. Uh, hit me up on Instagram if you want to be a part of uh, future things like that. And uh, yeah, I mean, I could go on and on about the differences between the two cultures. Obviously, there's a lot that's different. But this video is starting to get long and I wanted to have a chance to talk about one thing that I think is a big similarity between Mexico and Canada. So most of you will know that our Canadian Prime Minister is a guy named Justin Trudeau. But what people might not know is that Justin Trudeau's father, a guy named Pierre Elliott Trudeau, was actually the Prime Minister of Canada way back in the late 60s. And Pierre Elliott Trudeau has a famous quote about what it's like being neighbors with the United States. He compared it to sleeping with an elephant. Because when you're sleeping in bed with an elephant, whenever this big elephant moves, you feel the movement. It doesn't mean you don't like the elephant, but you are always affected by this elephant that you are sharing a bed with. And in many ways, Mexico and Canada, we are both sharing a bed with the United States. Uh, sometimes we don't want to be. <laughs> Sorry to any American viewers who are watching, but sometimes it gets to be too much Especially when the crazy politics and stuff are happening. It's like sometimes you wish you could just find another bed for a little bit But generally speaking we are heavily Influenced by American culture. I mean, I know in Mexico obviously there's a lot of immigration to to the United States and a lot of people see it as a chance for a better life Believe it or not. That's true in Canada as well depending on what industry you're in if you're in the tech industry or entertainment or something like that, it's always like, okay, you can get to this level as a musician in Canada, but if you really want to get famous, you got to get to this level and move to, you know, Los Angeles or New York. So I think a lot of Canadians have kind of, for a long time, we've sort of lived in the shadow of the United States. Like this year, the, the NBA, the basketball finals, the Toronto Raptors finally won, became the first Canadian team to ever win a NBA championship. And this is like a huge deal for Canada. It kind of like puts us on the map in the United States. It's like, we're not just that big neighbor to the North who you guys forget about most of the time. We're actually a country with like 
cool cities and cool people and we can actually beat you guys at basketball sometimes. <laughs> and I'm sure a lot of Mexicans feel that way too. Like you have an awesome culture with a lot of deep history and it just, there's a lot happening in Mexico that doesn't get talked about that often because the United States gets so much of the attention for North America. So yeah, we're in this together, guys. Uh, Mexicans and Canadians, we are sharing this bed together. Um, <laughs> I need to stop using the bed image. It's just making me laugh. I just pictured Trudeau, uh, Trump, and the Mexican president, uh, AMLO, all sharing a bed together. Um, <laughs> I think this video has gone on too long, but uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, let me know, leave a comment, and also share your own thoughts on how Canadians and Mexicans are different, how we might be the same. And uh, yeah, that's it for today. As always, guys, I'm Dan from The New Travel. See you next time. Oh, my coffee got cold. That was gross. Okay, bye.